Thank you for follow our videos here in your channel Engineering Zone. Today we're going to review two excellent process indicators as part of Lean Metrics. One of them is first pass yield, and the second one is a raw throughput yield. In the organizations or process factories, call them yield or process yield, but it is so important not confuse them or think that they are the same thing or the same metric. To clarify these metrics, we're going to explain what is mean first pass yield and what is mean raw throughput yield. Well, those indicators indicate what extent part at manufactured correctly the first time without need for inspections, reworks, or replacement. For example, what is the percentage of cars come off a production line without need any reworks? How many patients have an operation without complications? How many application forms are completed first time without needing corrections? These metrics can be used for measure the amount of rework in a given process. It's an excellent cost of quality metrics. Let's to look some samples in Excel to clarify those metrics. Okay, here in Excel, we're going to develop an example what is mean fierce pass yield. In the right side, you can see the formula to obtain the first pass yield. The first pass yield is the number of good units, not the effective unit produced first time, divided over total number of unit produced. For example, if uh, we have a reject like a scrap, return, retest, unit repair, or things like that, all of them is defective and going to affect our fierce pass yield. How obtain that? In this sample, imagine that we have already have units have entered on the process. This is 1,000. And here in the left side are all defect detected during the process. A scrap product, product recheck, unit repair, cheap and fixed unit. Okay, how calculate or obtain your first pass yield? First, I'm going to follow a sequence to obtain the result. First, I would like to know what is the total of defect detected in your process. I'm going to, to create here a, a small a formula, the call is uh, sum. I'm going to sum all the defects detected and we obtain a total of 92 defects. Then right now we we know the total of product processed in your imaginary process that is 1000 perfect and I'm going to follow the next step okay I'm going to open a formula here and then follow sequence the formula show here how many units enter in your process is 1000 right less how many defect you uh, you found i'm going to open a small parenthesis here and the final result it's going to divide again of the total of units processed this is your first pass yield. This is the efficiency in your process. I'm going to say that the first pass yield always is posted or is uh, obtained in percentage form. Perfect. Until here, we check what is mean first pass yield. Now we're going to review what is mean raw throughput yield. The raw throughput yield is the percentage of units which goes through the complete process without requiring rework or failing to complete any process step. We're going to check a sample in Excel to check uh, all small details, right? 
Okay, perfect. We are open Excel. The second example is here. Imagine that already have a call center process. The process is divided in three different operations. Uh, sorry, here is um, three, so, sorry, two and um, three operation, right? Calls pick up is a quantity of calls that you receive in your process in one period of the time. When those units pass here, in the workstation, you have a problem. Four calls hung up. Hung up, sorry. Four units hung up. And another two calls drop. What is the total of units affected here? Yes, the total of units re re received less the four units hung up plus two calls drop okay we have 94 units or calls in good process the first time then the second in the second station just passed 94 good calls but in this process again we have two fails calls wrong don't mean the total of units arrive less two calls we have 92 good calls and finally again we have 92 units Again, sorry, process, calls, less, two units, fails, plus two calls missing. In total, sorry, what is the problem here? Okay, problem is, I forget that. Perfect. 88 units in total. This is your fifth part yield in each station, but we have to calculate the role to yield. How to calculate the triple yield? Okay, I have to obtain the first pass yield in each operation or each station. How to obtain that? I'm going to calculate the first pass yield in this way. We already have 94 good pieces divided in the total initially. This is the first pass yield. The first pass yield is 94 percentage. Then again, I'm going to calculate the first pass yield of the second station is 92 divided 94. And finally, in some 82, eight, sorry, 88 divided 92. Okay, this is the first pass jail in each workstation or work operation. But how to obtain the roll to jail? The roll to jail is the first pass jail of the first station multiply by the second and multiply by the third one. This is our roll through boot yield. If you check, if you verify, it's total different. The roll through boot yield, if you compare with the, with the, the first pass yield in each operation, and it's total different, for example. If uh, you try to obtain the average, the average of this one and this one, this one is totally different, right? You resume the row through yield is multiply each first pass yield in each workstation 
to obtain the real yield in your process.